Yes, that thing is indeed a new poster in the background. Getting to the main point of the story, the MacBook Pros haven't been updated for 300 days or 301 days to be exact and it's worrying because this is the first time in history that's happened. Uh, a lot of reports uh, in the past have said that new ones are going to come out and this has been coming on from December 2009 uh, where several articles have said just wait for the new MacBook Pros which to date uh, we're in April and uh, there still hasn't been any significant or any sort of update to the MacBook Pros which is concerning uh, because the MacBook Pros are meant to be uh, Apple's best selling uh, computer lineup uh, so it's um, you know definitely very strange however today uh, a Chinese website uh, a Chinese Apple website has uh, said that Apple are going to release the you know the refresh this month and in specific they're saying that it's going to be the Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7 options uh, and they might even be making the solid straight drives uh, a standard. Now they're also saying that the hard drives are going to start from 640 gigs which is not which is not normal because really Apple start from 160 all the way up to uh, SSD. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with the solid straight drives. I do think that is the future, no doubt. And they're also saying that the battery life is going to be increased from 7 hours to 8 hours, which is also interesting because the Core i5 processors, the quad cores, are more power hungry. Uh, so Apple are going to be increasing not only the processor, but even they're going to continue to uh, bump up the actual uh, juice, if that's what you want to call it. Now there's quite a lot of big UK retailers, I'm talking about Dixon's, the DSG Group and Amazon.co.uk, who are out of stock of the MacBook Pros. Uh, which is very very strange and I think uh, it is very possible and uh, linked with this article looking at the stock on the various UK websites uh, there does seem to be an issue with stock so maybe it was a clear out that was happening before this Easter break uh, and new ones are indeed going to be rolled out. A few people on a few forums have said that they've ordered through the education store and the lead up to that time is two weeks for delivery which again is very strange it's usually uh, you know two to three days for the education so it's something very fishy is happening and if you are in the market for a MacBook Pro or you've recently purchased one I would highly recommend that you take it back uh, if you're still in with your 14 day period because uh, these updates are going to be worth it you're going to get much more for your money and uh, trust me when I say that and uh, considering Apple hasn't updated the line in you know over 300 days this wait will be you know well worth it but uh, I came across this article today, I did share it on my Twitter, the address for that should be appearing up here if you do want to follow me on Twitter, uh, I do tend to update uh, people who follow me on Twitter on a regular basis throughout the day and I'll keep you up to date if anything does emerge. But yeah, you can join me on iglassweegian.com, twitter.com slash i6glassweegian or you may be holding out for a MacBook Pro, I know some people waiting since December for this refresh, so if you are, do post a comment. What are you looking forward to? The thing that I'm really looking forward to in this uh, MacBook Pro, and I think most of you are, is the processors. Uh, core 2 duos were good up till last year, I would say. But quad cores are the future, and my i7, which I'm recording from just now, is uh, a beast, to say the least. But yeah, I thought I'd share this with you guys. Cheers!